Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new leak of Legends video. So today we're going to be going over the big changes coming over to next patch, of course, on the PBE server, the live servers, all that good stuff. So with all that being said and done, if you guys enjoy, you're excited, whatever, don't forget to hit that like button. But let's just get this party started. Starting things off, we have a preview of some skins coming out. We have Elderwood skins and we have some new Firelight Edition for Echo. Let's check it out. Let's see what this looks like. My cat's meowing. I don't know if you guys can hear her. Let's see what this is. Fire, light, echo. Is this related to arcane somehow, or is this something else entirely? This Twitter quality really is just horrendous, man. It always takes like 10 seconds. I don't know why. It's weird. Every time. Oh, that ultimate though. Jeez. That looks pretty sick, actually. Okay, so it is from Arcane. Yeah, it's an Arcane skin. Okay, so they're releasing an Arcane Echo skin. Bro, that's actually... Ooh, what is this? That's actually pretty sick. Hold on. I want to see one more time quickly. Bro, that looks really good. See, even like backtrack in the Twitter video and it's still back to like horrible quality until the end. It's so weird. So they're releasing an Arcane Echo skin. That's pretty cool, actually. So then we have some more skins coming out here. We have uh, Elderwood, Nar, and Rex. Let's take a look. Ooh, I like the Nar skin already. That looks good. That looks really good, actually. I love the color scheme. The white with that, like, you know, bright blue, greeny kind of color, it looks great. Let's see this, Meganar. Oh, okay, damn. Bro, he looks sick. I like this one, actually. Oh, aye, aye, aye. Where's the ultimate? Let me see the ultimate. Okay, there it is, right here. The ultimate? Did he use it yet? No. Okay, right here. Hey. Okay, that's a cool skin. If you're a NAR player, all 20 of you. Now that's the skin to get, I must say. If I was an R player, bro, 100% be getting the skin. Damn, it looks good. Okay, then we have Rexai. Okay, that's actually pretty sick too. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually pretty cool with the crystal. I don't think I would like it as much as I do. This is actually really, really sick. Oh, oh wow, dude, that cute. Oh, bro, damn. Bro, these are so much better than I thought they would be. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. These are actually quite sexy. Oh, hey. Let's see the backing animation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the flower? Bro, that looks sick. Okay, let's see the splash arts. They better have released the splash arts. I'm pretty sure they did, though. Okay, so here we go. We have Firelight Echo. Again, this does seem to be the one from uh, Arcane, of course. So I got a screw on their little hoverboards and stuff like that. But I, I'm not gonna lie. I like it. Mainly... I mean, half of the reason is because it's from Arcane, to be completely honest. I thought Echo and Arcane was, like, pretty fucking boss. I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty sick. I like them quite a bit. Um, so this is pretty sick. I actually really like this. The mask and everything. I wonder if you can put this on and off in the game. Like a toggle. There's a lot of champions that have, like, a toggle for their mask or something like that. Like Kale, for instance. Things like that. Um, that'd be pretty sick. And then, of course, we have the two Elderwood skins, which I am... This looks like from the um, that game. What's it called? Ori, I believe. Ori in the Blind Forest or something like that. Kind of looks like that, actually. It might be inspired from it. I mean, it looks exactly like it, in all honesty. But anyway, amazing looking splash art, amazing looking skin. Checking out the Rex I want next. Damn, that looks actually really good. Holy shit. Holy shit, that looks really good. Damn, the quality and the detail in this is actually quite impressive. I, I, I did. Wow. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we have, of course, apparently an update for splash, uh, the splash art for a goth Annie. So that's going to look like that, which actually looks insanely good as well, I must admit. Jesus, man. Yo, this splash arts lately have been absolutely gorgeous. Now, uh, moving on, we have a quick little update here for uh, on Vanderbilt's video for Yone. Apparently now when Yone gets a pentakill, there's this, like, teaser maybe or something like that? It's like, I don't know if it's a purpose to it or just kind of for fun. Maybe they're adding cosmetics to it. But when you get a pentakill with Yone, he does this, like, this. And apparently this happens, like, literally in the game. Where it does like this widescreen effect and shows Yone doing his uh, taunts or whatever it is. So I'm not really sure the idea behind that. Um, and, and it's weird, like, can you cancel it? Because like, what if you get a pentakill and then you're just forced to stand there for five seconds doing that stupid animation and then you can't go and end the game or something? I don't know. I'm assuming you can cancel it if you just move, but who knows? And the reason, uh, and the question is, of course, why is this even in the damn game? Because... Like, is it a teaser for something? Is it just, are they going to start selling these kind of, like, little emotes that you can buy for champions that have their own, like, pentakill thing? Which would make sense, because it's not really a new emote. All it does is go widescreen and zoom in, and it just does a regular emote that they already have. So that doesn't make too much sense either. Not really sure what it means and what it's going to lead to, but nonetheless, it's there, which is pretty cool. Also, there have been uh, a lot of talk around uh, our boy... 
uh, Silco from Arcane getting added to TFT, and a lot of people were wondering if it's going to get added to League of Legends as well. It has been confirmed that uh, by Reeve, who is like one of the you know main game designers or whatnot on uh, League of Legends and Meddler himself as well, that very high. I don't think it's a straight no. I mean, they kind of word like a no. I honestly don't think it's a straight no, but it's like a 95% chance that it's not going to get, or he's not going to get added to League of Legends. I, the way they word it doesn't seem like it's just a straight shutdown. It's like, it'll never happen, period. Don't even, don't even hope for it. It'll never happen. It doesn't feel like they're wording it like that, but it does seem like it's extremely unlikely. Though, I think if the certain circumstances or certain conditions are met, I do think they'll add them. But again, I would not hold my breath for this, so I thought I'll update you guys on that very quickly as well. Next up, of course, we have the new Debonair skins coming out to the live server should be i'm assuming this coming patch this week actually maybe tomorrow or thursday at the latest friday i would assume so we have this one for brand of course debonair brand coming out we have debonair draven coming out these skins are gorgeous by the way and of course we have coming up later the zed one so you have our boy or our girl rather uh, leblanc and that's i believe malzahar right there gorgeous skins by the way i must say these are absolutely gorgeous skins leona of course coming out of her uh tesla i mean not tesla we'll say it's a tesla for fun coming out looking sexy looking gorgeous uh malzahar mastery i actually forgot about mastery actually looks <laughs> damn you this guy looks like pretty aesthetic i'm not gonna lie uh i'd bang that for sure and then you have the best one of course debonair zed I, I made a gameplay of this uh of this skin on my channel about two weeks ago, something like that, three weeks ago, something like that at this point. Absolutely amazing skin to the point where I would honestly say it might be his best skin. No cap, straight up. Definitely in contention for that galactic skin or whatever it's called. Gorgeous, gorgeous skin. And last but not least, of course, we have the balance changes coming out to this patch. Let's check it out. So a decent amount of changes here. So we have some buffs coming over to Ivan, Samira, Caitlyn. Uh, so they fixed Caitlyn's headshot thing, which is hardly a buff. It's just a fix, honestly, I, I believe, um, or something like that. So it's whatever. Um, and then, of course, you have champion nerfs coming over to Camille. Not a huge nerf to Camille, honestly, but, you know, a nerf nonetheless. And then, of course, you have some system buffs. And this is where it gets interesting, in my opinion. So, we have Archangel staff buffs. So, the combined cost has actually decreased by 400 gold, which I'm surprised. I actually thought the item was pretty good, personally. Uh, Camp Tech mini buff has been actually buffed overall as well. So, uh, from 5 to 6%. I also thought that was a pretty strong uh, mini dragon buff. Apparently, it wasn't strong enough. The Hex tech also is getting a slight buff, which, whatever. That one was so-so, in all honesty. Conquer getting a buff, so I don't think anyone wants to see that. I don't think anyone wants to see, you know, Conquer becoming uh, broken. I mean, it's already pretty good, in all honesty. I don't know the buffing anymore. Uh, and then you have some nerfs coming over to Predator, because literally everyone and their mother was taking Predator, so that makes sense. Chemtech Dragon Soul actually getting a slight nerf, which is the sign passive, which makes sense. Uh, and then, of course, you have Crown of the Shattered Queen getting a slight nerf. Item was pretty good, but I don't think it was that OP. I thought it was just good, but it's getting a nerf nonetheless, so now it'll be just okay, in my opinion. Cosmic Drive getting a slight nerf as well. You can see the movement speed being severely decreased, in my opinion, by half almost, um, from the 10% to the 5% over there. Ever Shroud, or even Shroud, rather, getting a slight damage increase. Uh, nerf to the duration also being nerfed as well, so obviously, uh, you know, the item is pretty good, but... I don't know, some of these nerfs I'm a little surprised about, in all honesty. Axiom Arc, one of them, of course, being this one I'm not surprised about. Broken item, in all honesty. I'm not going to deny it. Item is fantastic. 20% from 20% 20 now from 25%. Still good, in my opinion. I, I will still buy it. I don't think that's a... I think that's a slap on the wrist. It sounds like it's a lot, but it's really not that much, in my opinion. And then, of course, you have Lethal Tempo. Uh, adjustments so the melee attack speed per stack is down slightly the ranged attack speed per stack is actually increased so they're actually buffing it for range nerfing it for melee which i think is a horrendous idea and the ranged bonus auto attack range has been uh, slightly reduced as well i, I don't know I, I i don't think this is a good change i don't think they should be buffing it for range i think range champions are going to abuse it too hard but we'll see uh and then you have cled getting some changes as well which i don't play enough cled so i'm just gonna leave it at that you guys can figure out what that means for cled if that's good or bad and Glacial Augment, uh, getting a reduced in slow. Uh, the AD ratio per 2% per 100 bonus AD is now 4% per 100 AD. It doesn't say bonus AD, it just says 100 AD. So, pretty big buff, I guess. Uh, AP ratio 2% per 100 AP is now 3%. AP ratio per AP, uh, again, I, d I don't know if they forgot to add the 100 AP there or it's just literally 3% per AP. That would sound broken. I don't think it's that. It's got to be per bonus. Uh, they probably just forgot to add it again, which is misleading in all honesty. We're just going to assume it's still bonus because that'd be pretty ridiculous if it wasn't. Um, and then, of course, the HNS ratio is, dude, they left their mouse here, 5% uh, per 100 now down to 7 or up to rather to 7% as well. So there you guys have it. Some massive changes coming over to this patch. Let me know what you think about it down below. But until then, thank you all so much for watching. Peace.